Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the Tuesday. We have uh, 7th of July, or so to say 7th of August, do apologise, 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, Signal, Signal the market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of European markets, certainly bouncing this morning, uh, on the even though uh, the corporate earnings certainly came in weaker, we had a list or barrage of corporate earnings certainly on the weaker side today. Uh, but again, market is certainly pushing higher on the back of uh, China rallying overnight, almost 3% on the back of potentially uh, fiscal stimulus via some sort of infrastructure uh, investment that certainly is uh, triggering a short squeeze in the uh, in the Chinese equities. Now, US equities certainly breaking out to uh, above the previous uh, high. Uh, the key level was that gap fill at 28.53, yet the market's broken through that as well. I think we're trading at 28.56 um, pre-market. Now, 28.53 was a key level. Now, the next potential level is 28.72. Now, I was certainly bearish, and I was bearish last week as well. Certainly, I've paid the price. I was expecting this potential H&S formation top, perfect H&S top pattern with the left shoulder. Uh, your hedge there, okay. Your right shoulder, perfectly in. Looking to break and look to potentially close the gaps at 22, uh, 2774, and obviously uh, 2760 in the back of, obviously, trade uh, wars but that again trade wars is having no effect whatsoever as earnings certainly continue to uh, bolster the index and uh, obviously trigger short squeezes potential well, call it short squeeze could certainly be buy orders as well and certainly seems like the one to uh, take the uh, s p above that 2870 zone by the look of things for now 2854 is your key resistance level let's see if that can hold and we'll see how the market reacts again like i said european indices certainly benefiting from that uh, perspective in terms of the economic data this morning even though economic data came in on the weaker side overall even though german trade balance certainly improved it wasn't exactly spectacular okay yes imports certainly increased to a large extent okay but uh, german industrial production certainly coming in a weaker okay missing the mark minus 0.9 percent now uh, also french <clears throat> Uh, French data certainly coming missing the mark as well. Uh, trade balance certainly minus 6.2 billion. That certainly isn't a good sign. Okay, certainly isn't a good sign for the rest of Europe. Is France is weaker, so bear that in mind as well. UK's house prices is coming in stronger as well. That certainly helps. Okay, so that's basically the status quo. Now let's look at the actual uh, technical picture now as well. German DAX certainly rebounding there. As you can see, a 10 minute chart closed the gap and then obviously has. Uh, reverse quite sharply now you do have the unfilled gap below so watch out below uh, in terms of the german dax so that is quite impressive given the fact that we close the gap at 12737 and then obviously we reverse quite sharply so that's the key resistance for now in terms of the german dax moving on looking at the french cac now the french cac i've, I've uh, begun i started short of 5523 certainly looking for that to uh, that resistance to hold given the fact that the trade balance date came in weaker as well so bear that in mind 10 minute chart held up resistance and has started to reverse looking for that gap fill to close at 5470 below in terms of the FTSE 100 now quite impressive thrust we hit a pivot high of 7724 before we were sort of reversed quite sharply there uh, again that key resistance at 7720 certainly expected to hold if that breaks and you are looking at 7740 and then obviously 7770 as well. 10 minute chart certainly depicts that. You do have the unfilled gap above though at uh, 7748, so watch out above there. But for now, that key resistance at 7723 expected to hold the uh, index for now. Okay, so that's basically the status quo. Uh, we do have the unfilled gap below at 7660, so again, watch out for that in terms of that closing. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Make sure you download the latest. Uh, trade signal app and also visit cfds.com to certainly open your trade trading account and open up that social trading account as well on that note goodbye